Hi folks and welcome to Pleiades Moonstar's True Reviews, uh, the channel where I make reviews on products I know and love or make reviews on products that I feel totally suck. <laughs> when I love a product I'll include an affiliate link because uh, should you decide you want uh, hopefully a similar experience in ending up loving the item, the product, then clicking on that affiliate link um, will get you to the exact item that I'm talking about. And of course, as it is an affiliate link, I would make a little bit of uh, an income for every purchase a person makes. However, <clears throat> where my channel differs, I feel, from a lot, perhaps not all, but a lot of other review channels is I'm not going to build up a product just to get you to click on the link. If I don't really know that product, then um, I don't know why I would review it if I don't really know it. For example, uh, unboxing, which I'm going to do right here today, and I'll explain more about that in just a moment. Uh, the unboxing process in relation to a person giving a review uh, to me is, you know, like, okay, interesting, but if I'm hearing about uh, their experience after just a, a day or a week, you know, or really even a month, especially a day or a week, though, it's like pretty useless. It's easy to like a product the first day, the first week, unless it, you know, has serious issues, right? Um, but it's over time that getting to know your product, some issues can end up showing up. And so what I'm more interested in, if I look at a review, is the long term, the long term feelings in relation to that product that the buyer has. These are products that I have purchased myself. And uh, so let's see, what else did I want to say? Well, I guess that's about it. I'm just kind of introducing you to my concept. If it's a sucky product, I won't include an affiliate link. I would just be letting you know, hey, I think this product sucks. And uh, <clears throat> if I do like the product, you'll find that affiliate link. So now what do we have here? We have the Instant Pot. You can see it's still in its shipping box. We've got an interesting little story about this. Um, this is the um, Ultra 80. So it's the 8 quart. Now for a couple of years now, we've had the 6 quart. And we've totally loved it. This is upgrading us to the 8 quart, the Ultra 80. <clears throat> and uh, it, it does, uh, the, the 6 quart um, Ultra model that we had, and of course this one, the Ultra 80, the 8 quart, these Ultra devices do more than the regular Instant Pot. When we first decided to um, make a purchase of an Instant Pot, uh, a couple of years back, it was at the recommendation of a, of a customer. I was working in a health food store at the time, and at the register, uh, a customer started telling me about the Instant Pot. It just sounded like, you know, really good. So we went ahead and we went out and, uh, and made a purchase. Now, since that time, we've actually, um, well, my wife and I have given birth to a couple of beautiful, uh, identical twin girls. And this Instant Pot, it turns out, has a feature that we never really considered that we would have a use for. We just wanted all the bells and whistles, you know, or maybe I did. I don't know. I like, I like getting stuff with all the bells and whistles. But it turns out that one of the features is a um, <clears throat> sterilizer. So it has come in quite handy for the bottle sterilization. Now, we were happy enough with our six quart model, <clears throat> but a couple of days ago, um, it was early in the morning. I had just gotten up and uh, I was in the kitchen uh, starting, starting the girls' breakfast and, uh, you know, turning on burners on the stove and making myself some tea, so on and so forth. And, well, apparently the cover from the, uh, you, you probably know where this is going, right? The cover for the Instant Pot was just sitting there on the stove from the previous night. <clears throat> and uh, I'm in the other room 
And then I go back in to check um, some rice that I'm making and OMG exclamation point. I couldn't believe what I saw. I had turned on the wrong burner. I had turned on the front burner and that's where the cover was sitting. And the, um, I'm just taking a look to see, make sure I'm still videotaping here. Um, the uh, rice was like not cooking. When I first walked into the kitchen, I'm like, it doesn't look like it's, you know, cooking. And then of course it's like, OMG. And uh, I open up all the windows and blah, blah, blah. Cause it all happens so quick. It's like, um, I zip into the kitchen, see how the rice is doing, discover that I've just melted the cover. <laughs> I've destroyed it. And for a moment there, have you ever had that feeling that something so messed up has just happened that you must be dreaming? For a moment there, I thought, okay, I'm going to be waking up in a moment because this is absolutely ridiculous. Well, needless to say, I didn't find myself waking up in just a moment. And <clears throat> because we really enjoyed that six quart model so much, and uh, well, um, before we, when we first bought that, you know, we weren't, excuse me, but we weren't even pregnant, you know? I mean, I say we, even though it's my wife, because, you know, it's like, it's me too, I'm telling you. Um, <clears throat> but that's, that's a story in itself. Wow. Um, parenthood is like an amazing trip. And, uh, but I, I guess I won't go there because I'm talking about the Instant Pot, but it's like, wow, my girls teach me so much every day. Anyway, uh, getting back to the Instant Pot. So yeah, we loved it so much that we decided, hey, you know, no sense crying over what happened. I immediately called the company and discovered I can buy from, you know, the official company um, a replacement cover for that. Yay. Um, but you know what? We're seeing this as an opportunity, an opportunity to upgrade, you know, to a larger model. Hey, we'll be able to sterilize more bottles at, at once that way, for one thing. And uh, as our family is growing, well, we can just make more at once. Let me just start. I better start with the... I'm new at these um, YouTube videos, the whole review thing, and, and really like working on getting the channel underway, you know, so I've been researching a bit, and <clears throat> basically I'm here, and you know, it should be, you should be consistent in your uploads, um, you should not waste <laughs> the viewer's time, or you can lose viewers, so I was starting to ramble on a little bit there, and we're just pulling it out, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's got some weight to it. Okay, so there it is, our upgrade. And thanks for listening to um, a little bit of the background on how we arrived at doing our upgrade. And yeah, we are actually going to buy the uh, replacement cover. So when I spoke to them, it's like, yeah, no problem. But it turns out they're like uh, uh, waiting for an order to come in. It'd be about a month, blah, blah, blah. So we'll get back to them on that. They're going to send me an email. They were very nice. And uh, so, yeah, this is our chance to upgrade. I'm going to start taking this out of the box, too. Now, I'm going to mention right now, for, for one thing, and I mentioned this on another one of my videos, <clears throat> it, it's kind of annoying to me when I watch somebody's YouTube video and within the first couple of seconds, they, they tell me to... Um, hit the like button and subscribe because in my mind it's like Man, I don't even know if I like your your content, you know So no, I, I mean I'm actually not gonna do that <clears throat> so I want to say That I'm not asking you at this moment to like and Subscribe to, to give me a thumbs up as they say and to subscribe because uh, if you're still with me you're still figuring out if you enjoy find any value in um, my content. But I am trying to grow my channel, so I do want to mention, I'm going to check my video here again, good. Uh, I do want to mention that <clears throat> should you find value or you just think it's interesting, you know, hitting that, that like, that, that thumbs up, 
is, is going to be helpful. It only takes you a second. If you could do that, that would be so cool. And apparently, from what I've been hearing and, you know, looking at these other videos, um, <clears throat> uh, subscribing would be awesome. That's something big, uh, apparently, all by itself. So, <clears throat> and I may mention that again before the end of the video, but I may forget <laughs> because I'm, like, totally new at this, right? So, if I forget, um, maybe you'll remember and you'll you'll be able to help me out with that you know i mean that would that would be helpful okay so here we go i'm pulling the whole thing out and at the same time hoping the cover was attached well enough to not suddenly disengage from the, the base unit now if you're familiar with instant pots then pretty much nothing that's interesting Nothing I'm going to say is going to be new for you, but I'm, I've made a little list here, and it's probably going to be one of those um, one of those things where after the video is over, oh, that's nice and big, wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> Seriously, I've been using the um, six quart for a couple of years now, and this is noticeably bigger. Okay, I mean it just is. <clears throat> So I made some notes because, you know, there's things I, I do want to mention. I do want this to be a, a review. Um, uh, some of the things that we like about it, and, and, and I said <clears throat> that I'm only reviewing products that I know and, and love, or like a whole lot, whatever. But the thing is, I feel this relates because I'm replacing with the exact same um, model except bigger, um, a product that I have had serious use for the last couple of years. So, once again, this is called the Instant Pot, <clears throat> and this is the Ultra 80, so it puts it at 8 quarts. Um, just, well, let's, let's get this off now. And check it out. You even get free plastic. I mean, you can use this, right? Okay, I'm just playing. Maybe you can, I don't know. Check my video again. Yeah, you know, ideally, I don't want to have to edit any of this. I see YouTube videos, and they've done some serious editing. You know, and that's great. It makes their video, like, you know, better, right? You know? Um, <clears throat> I used to have a radio show, like, uh, several years back, and I did all my own editing. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it was a real radio show. Um, real what do you call it brick and mortar building and all that and that editing i mean it didn't always take like six or eight hours or sometimes even longer but it could so you know what i'm burned out on editing i, I don't want to have to edit this so uh, i hope you can appreciate some of the live um off the cuff kind of things i, I might talk about during my stuff here um, okay, very convenient. This sucker is seriously convenient. Um, it was an experiment when we went and, went and bought it at the uh, suggestion of a, of a customer at that, at that health food store. And <clears throat> it turns out it's, it's one of those paths that you walk down, seeing if you like it, and it's like, yeah, I've gotten, we've gotten so used to it. Uh, it does. It makes cooking quicker and easier, no doubt. Um, <clears throat> I asked my wife to contribute some things that she liked, and uh, so I've written that down too. She said, uh, it makes meats more tender while maintaining flavor. She's, she's the cooker person in the house. Uh, I, I partake of the delightful cuisines that she uh, shares. <clears throat> I'm very lucky. She's very, uh, very good at that. Um, so yeah, she, she said that, and... Uh, it's one tool for everything. Okay, I already mentioned bottle sterilization. And uh, definitely they don't all have one. They don't all have a, a sterilizer. This one did because it came with, like I said, all the bells and whistles. And trying to, rem yeah. <clears throat> trying to remember more of a specific name for this. Well, Ultra Pot. Ultra 80. I, I guess that does it. But you know what? If you are interested and you want to know even more specs and information on it, the affiliate link that I'm going to include in the description 
that will take you exactly to this one. I will also include an affiliate link to the one that we've just been using for a couple of years, which is the same unit, but um, smaller, just six quarts. So this is the eight quart. <clears throat> okay, um, this, uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't know, I think it's like called 10 in one or something like that. I forget right now, and it doesn't actually say that right here, but it's just one of the, anyway. Okay, so yeah, they don't all have a sterilizer. So if you <clears throat> think this is something you're interested in and you're looking for that sterilization, because I mean, it doesn't have to be baby bottles. If you have another use, maybe uh, to sterilize medical equipment and uh, make lunch at the same time. I don't know, right? Okay, baby food maker. That has been huge. Um, all our baby food is homemade. Uh, it's all organic. It always has been. I want my girls to start off with the best base possible. And so uh, we have from the first, from the get-go, um, made our own baby food. And this will do that. I mean, this is... This is one of its great uses. And uh, like I said, it's interesting how life puts things together, you know, like um, down the road, you can see how things connect, you know? I mean, the, this, having the sterilizer, you know, before we were even, you know, pregnant and, and all that stuff and being able to use it for making baby food. Okay, <clears throat> uh, stews, soups, rice, cake, Porridge, multigrain, yogurt, obviously pressure cook, meat, beans, saute, slow cooker, warmer. It's one tool for everything. And that's really convenient. And, you know, that's interestingly enough why we're going to buy another cover. Um, maybe, you know, the day will come when we send the, uh, the smaller unit uh, back home. To, uh, to, to like her mother, you know, as a gift or something. But right now, you know, we're, we're just going to get that cover and hang on to it because having two is going to be big. She can be making something in here that perhaps needs the size and then utilizing the other one, maybe even uh, sterilizing baby bottles in the other one while this one is cooking, right? Yeah. So... <clears throat> It was like when I melted that cover, it wasn't a matter of, well, okay, that's gone. Uh, why don't I surf around and uh, find something new? Let's try something else. Let's try something new. Had a couple of years with it. That was pretty cool. But let's let's experiment with a, with a new item. Nope, nope. One of my sayings, and uh, it works for me, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And you know what? I broke it. <laughs> so we're buying a new one of of the same variety. Uh, I don't know if you care, but this is the inside of the cover. Ta-da! Inside of the cover. And very own delightfully orange tag. Yes, suitable for framing. So let's take a look deeper into... And it comes with... Stuff. Yep, our other one came with this stuff too. And get it out of there. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> of course, a ladle and a little scoop to use for whatever, ladle for ladling. And this here, this attaches, let's see, where was that? Oh, it attaches on here, actually. Yeah, right back here. Did I get that in the video? Yeah, I did, good. So, <clears throat> That there is just in case there's like, you know, some, some liquid in here. It just drips into there and it's not going to get all over your counter, that kind of thing. And here we have a little measuring cup. Ta-da! For the measuring cup. Okay. So, yes. It comes with accessories. 
But wait, that's not all. Here we have uh, Instant Pot Series User Manual. It's got real pages as opposed to, you know, digital, right? Um, Instant Pot Recipe Booklet with full color picture recipes. Okay. Oh, and look. See, I haven't looked at what comes with the Instant Pot in like, well, a couple of years. I know this stuff must have come with it before because I, I recognize them. I don't remember this though. This is uh, Cooking Timetables, which just seems cool to me. Like, maybe I want to hang that up just for fun. Yeah, yeah, it does that. So I could easily just hang that on the wall. I like hanging stuff up anyway. And what's this? Oh, oh, okay, okay, it's the reference guide. And so I'm going to turn it back around now so you can see the cool front. That there just gave me the reminder that, hey, you know, you're just looking at the back of it. Maybe you'd like to see the front of it. Okay, and we got some more stuff in here. This is the last item inside. <clears throat> and let me get it off. Cardboard. I'll, I'll of course be washing all this before first use. It's just what you do. Okay, and that goes. Well, why don't we pull this out too? There we go. So you can see this nice, big, shiny, and this sucker stays shiny too. Um, which is cool because <laughs> I like shiny objects. What can I say? Um, easy to clean. I'm very happy to say it doesn't have Teflon or um, any of the replacements that they've come up with to replace Teflon. I mean, we know how that works, right? You know, after all those years and stuff, it's like, oh, sorry, Teflon's like really bad for you. But wait, we've got a, we've got a new product here, you know. ABC coating, and it's... I'm just making that up. If there is an ABC coating, I'm not... I'm not saying anything about their company. I'm just making that up. But, you know, then, then it turns out, what, five years, ten years down the line, it's like, oops, sorry, but now we've got another coating that, you know what, it doesn't have any coating. And that's, that's great. You know, years ago, I had a Zojirushi uh, rice cooker. I freaking loved that thing, you know, but it had Teflon in it. So, finally, just in my mind, it was like, man, i got to stop using this thing. So... You know, but it, it was it was beautiful. It it it, it was smart. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're talking about this, and uh, maybe Zojirushi is making them without Teflon now. I should look into that sometime. So yeah, totally awesome. I'm so I'm already happy with this. I'll be washing it. We'll be using it tonight. And this, of course, goes right in there. Uh, say, for example, if you're you know sterilizing you know, bottles or whatever, you just pile them all in there, and that way they're not resting right on the bottom. <clears throat> and then, of course, you can just pull it out, and, you know, very conveniently, they'll start falling everywhere. I'm just playing with it. Uh, so the, the way we actually do it is we have, like, um, um, a, a little unit, not unit, but um, what do you call it? And anyway, it's got holes in it. It's a container to fit inside the container, and... Uh, so when we pull our thing up, the bottles are still, like, intact. <clears throat> um, and we got that from, uh, like, uh, oh, I forget, an, an, another pan we, we bought someplace, you know. But I'm, I'm sure you can find them online. I just forget what they're called. Maybe even this company can make, some, make something like that. I don't know. Sounds like that's something I should edit out, but I'm not going to edit anything. Okay, um, well, I guess that's it. I'm thinking I'm going to pretty much wrap this up. I hope you have found this interesting and that you've liked it. And perhaps, um, you know, you'll actually click on that affiliate link and, well, honestly, make, make a purchase. If this sounds like something you would like and my video has somehow been uh, interestingly um, interesting enough to, um, you know, convince you, yeah, I want to take that walk too. I want to, I want to check that out. 
then yeah, clicking on my link, of course, that's that's a good thing for, for me and my family. And uh, if you could, uh, give me that thumbs up. Once again, I sure would appreciate it. Now I'm going to ask for the thumbs up and, and the subscribe. And if you could subscribe, then of course that would be helpful too. I really appreciate it. Uh, I thank you for your time. I hope you're um, all having a beautiful day, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. Um, and I guess that's it. This is Pleiades Moonstar's True Reviews, making reviews only about products that I have faith in and I have confidence in.